Wooster Motorways in the building. What's going on, Brandon? Not much. Working hard, trying to hire drivers as normal. All right, all right. Um, so you took over. Um, you you took over from Jason, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I was uh, here before Jason, then went back out as our field coordinator, and now I'm back to recruiting. Okay, okay. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Well, first thing first, I, I want to say thank you. I appreciate the uh, the swag that you sent me. You know the uh, the hats and the and the mugs and everything. I'm 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 glad that I'm able to you know able to you know boost the company. You know, bring drivers you guys way and everything. And um, I'm I'm hoping uh, I'm hoping my podcast you know continue to do that. It helped us in the past. Like I said, I'm more than welcome to give you any kind of props I can because you're helping us. I'm willing to help you. All right. No problem. No problem, man. How's, how's it? Well, first thing first, how, how's everybody's doing? I know the pandemic came in and, you know, kind of, kind of messed us up and, you know, kind of, kind of wish everything would have worked out. But unfortunately the pandemic kind of, kind of turned the screws and everything. But now that, now that it's lifted up a little bit, how how is it uh how is it working over there? It's actually working out really good for us right now. Uh, I mean, freight loads are paying better than they ever have before for us. Uh, we're turning down more freight every day than we ever had, just for the fact we don't have enough drivers. Uh, we're running into about the same issues everyone else is in the country right now, uh, trying to find drivers. I mean, it's the number one commodity. All right. So as I as I said before, guys, you know my my time with Wooster what what the my time with Wooster Motorways has been one of the one of the best times that uh that I was with the company. I have nothing but great things to say about the company. My fleet manager over there, Joe, is 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 top notch. I I never had nothing bad to say about him. He always get me paid. He always kept me running. And when I needed to be off, I was off. So shout out to Joe. Speaking of which, is he still there? He's still here. He was actually just in my office about 10 minutes ago. Oh, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Well, if you get a chance, man, tell him I said what's up. All right, so Brandon, man, you need drivers. Uh, hopefully uh, hopefully this podcast with you, uh, you know, letting the people know what the company is about. So let's get started, man. So tell me a little bit about tell me a little bit about Wooster Motorways and what you guys have to offer. Well, we have quite a bit to offer right now. We're a smaller family owned company, been in business for about sixty years. Uh at the present time we have openings for over the road regional company and owner operator. Uh we've opened up our divisions quite a bit in the last few years. Not only do we have our van division now we have a hopper division, which is top load belly dump. We have an LPG natural gas and butane division now. We have two different frac sand divisions, which is uh, one is box and one is pneumatic. And then we also have our flatbed and Conestoga division out there. Wow, man! I mean, you you guys stepped up since I since I've been there. I, I only know about the the Conestoga and and the van. Now y'all get well. I think y'all was just. Y'all, y'all was just going into brutane, Bru, right? Brutane. Yeah, we've only been doing it for about two, two and a half years now. We're starting on our third season right now. Uh, it started in, uh, first of September when it really kind of kicks off and runs through. Uh, we had, I think, work up till almost May of last year. Okay, so let's let's uh, break down the divisions and which and which each uh, pays. So for I know for the brutane and for the frac sand, a driver has to have his tankers. But do they have to have a uh, hazmat in order to run those two uh, divisions? For the pneumatic sand can, you're not required to have a tanker since it's a bulk solid. Mm-hmm. Uh, just hauling sand, you're not required to have hazmat or tanker either one for it. Uh, now on the natural gas, LPG, and butane, you are required to have a hazmat endorsement on your license. Okay. Uh, we like to be at least a year experience doing it because it is, I'm not going to say a dangerous job, but it does have hazards that come with it. Uh, so we do like to see experience in that. Uh, it does require hazmat. It does require a tanker. Okay. So for the frac sand, what is it, uh, percentage or CPM? 
it depends on if you're going to owner operator or company. Uh, company driver, it is percentage. It's 25% of every load that you pull. Mm-hmm. Most of our drivers are averaging two or three loads a day. Uh, if you're looking at it from an owner operator perspective, you can go either percentage. Well, on pneumatics, it's only percentage. Uh, our vans would be percentage or mileage, which is the only one that's set up that way. Okay. Okay. It just kind of depends if you're looking at being an owner operator. It is percentage, but it's up to 77% per load mm-hmm. on the pneumatic. And that's pulling our equipment, which you're not charged for. Uh, the company driver, the same way, of course, it's our truck and trailer, but it's still percentage. is just 25% instead of 77%. Okay. Okay. Now, now you guys is is looking for owner operators, but what about do you guys offer leasing there or no? Yeah, we have a lease pro a lease purchase program here. Uh, it does require you to be a company driver for the first ninety days, uh, and we set up that ninety day rule just for the fact that we want to make sure the driver's happy with what he's doing. He's happy with the truck and the equipment that he's got. Uh, so the first 90 days as a company driver is just kind of a trial period, I guess, to make sure you have everything that you need to make sure you're successful in the process. Okay, that's what's up. I'm, I'm, I'm sure they'll be they'll be extremely happy there. Um, what about now? What about the uh, Conestogas and what about the van? Is that percentage or C or CPM as well, or just CPM? Uh, for a company driver, it is uh, per mileage. Uh, it is forty-seven cents a mile right now for the van side, with a four cent safety bonus, so it puts you at fifty-one cents a mile. Uh, on the Conestoga and flatbed, it is thirty percent of every load that you pull, plus thirty percent of any uh, securement fees, tarping fees, detention, anything that you would acquire there. Like if you got stuck at a loadout or something while they were loading you. You're going to make thirty percent of any of that time that you're setting there that they pay us for. All right. Now the Conestogas, if you guys don't know what that is, that is the flatbed with the automatic tarp that comes over, but you still have to secure the load, though. Am I correct? Yes, sir. All right. So securement. Do you guys offer securement training, or do they have to come in already knowing how to secure? No, uh, we'd like to see experience in it, but we're not requiring it. Uh, if it's something you're looking at doing, I can always get you set up with a training officer. All right, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, so how much uh, how much experience uh, do drivers need uh, to get with Wooster Motorways? We'd like to see at least a year, uh, but I do have two training programs, well, two training officers right now, where if you're just getting out of school or you don't have the experience, we can get you set up with six-week training program. Uh, unfortunately, I have the two trainers right now. We're trying to get more set up so I can hire more people right out of school or first-timers mm-hmm. uh, to help them out. Uh, but I do have a program. As long as there's a spot open, we can hire some. All right. Is uh, is Rich still one of those trainers? Yep. Rich is still one of them. All right. Awesome. Good guy. Very, very good guy. Uh, what about uh, training for women? Uh, you say you got two, but I'm assuming both of them is male. But what what do you guys uh, got for women? Uh, it's the same program, same two training hours, which is Rich and one of our other drivers. Uh, it just kind of depends if I can get them set up on a local spot mm-hmm. where they don't have to stay in the truck or if you do go out like regional or over the road with a driver and a training uh, we've got it set up uh, where we have camps with hotels now so that you're obviously both not staying in the truck together. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, what type of benefits uh, do Wooster offer? Uh, we have full benefits package. So medical, dental, vision, 401k. Uh, there's paid vacation, after, uh, weeks paid vacation after your first week, uh, two weeks after your first year. Uh, there's 401k. Uh, and then really trying to break it down and give you a decent price point. It's really hard to say because there's more than one package you can choose from when it comes to the insurance. All right. All right. Now you said, uh, as far as, as far as, uh, the safety bonus, um, it's still every three months paid out, right? Yeah. Paid uh, out quarter. Oh, okay, cool. That's awesome. And ain't the, ain't the safety meeting is around that time too, every three months. Well, uh, we have two a year now. 
uh, but thanks to the lovely COVID that we were talking about earlier, it kind of messed us up in the last year and a half. Mm-hmm. Uh, we just had our last one September 28th. It was actually scheduled for March. Uh, it got kept getting pushed back, pushed back, pushed back, pushed back, and was finally able to have it. Uh, so uh, right now, I don't even know when our next one will be. Is it was was it at the? Uh, tell me, it was at the uh, at the what was the country club? Nope, was it- wasn't at the country club anymore. We'd actually moved from the country club to the uh, Worcester City College or Worcester College. Oh, okay. Uh, and then this year was our first year we did it out at the I think believe it's called the Grace Stone Event Center in North of Town. Oh, okay. Because the country club was nice. That was nice. I enjoy, yeah. I enjoyed myself at the country club. <laughs> we still do the smaller safety meeting uh, there most of the time, uh, but the big safety make banquet meeting that we do, we tried. We went someplace else because you know we have family there. You know, some of us drivers. Okay, okay. Now what? Now you offer uh, regional, local, and over the road. Uh, what type of home time? Now. If I'm not mistaken, and I don't want to speak out of turn, but if you do regional, you're home every week, right? Yep. 99% of all of our loads right now are Monday through Friday with the weekends off. And depending on where you live, if it's on the route, we usually get you home during the week, at least once a night. All right. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, as far as the weekend, get in Friday, out Monday morning, right? 99% 99% of the time, yeah. Most of our drivers are showing back up here at the yard or one of our other three yards, somewhere between, you know, late afternoon on Friday to mid-morning, usually off the rest of the Friday, Saturday, and getting ready to go Sunday and be back in here Monday mornings. That's what's up. All right, so as far as the truck speed, uh, what, what, what's the trucks governing that? And they what- are governing 68 mile an hour. And what uh what trucks are available that you guys got? The uh, newer ones that we're getting in right now are uh, 2019s, 2020s. Uh, and they are the new LT International. Uh, we do have automatics and standards both. The standards are getting harder to come by nowadays for some reason. <laughs> uh, I believe the uh, oldest one I have in the fleet right now, we're getting ready to sell this week, and it is a 2016 most of my trucks that we're getting issued right now are 17 and 18. And, of course, I already know this. They all come with driver-facing cameras. Yes, sir. Yeah, I know that, of course. Uh, what uh, what other lanes all together that you guys run now? I, I couldn't even tell you on the lanes. We have so many new ones that we've gotten in the last three or four months. Uh, we're pretty much staying in the states of Ohio, Indiana, West Virginia, PA, Kentucky right now. Uh, we're not going any farther west than a line between Texas and the Dakotas. Uh, we do have some more East Coast runs as getting over into Georgia, Maryland, Florida, like so. But 99% of everything staying here in Ohio, PA, West Virginia, Kentucky. Will we still now? What would, would, would uh, Joe still be able to uh, route drivers to where they wherever they need to go? So, say like for example, they want to spend their home time in Florida, uh, or spend their home time up in uh, Minnesota, something like that. Would he still be able to do that for them? As long as we can find the load and get you there, yes. All right, that's what's up. All right, man. So we'll do our best to get a driver wherever he's needing to go. All right. So, brother, man, how how did they uh how did they connect up with you guys? Uh, easiest way is through the phone. Number is one eight hundred six eight three zero five six four. My extension is one four nine. Name's Brandon. Ask for the recruiter. I'm the only one we got. It'll get to me one way or another. Uh, we're online at Woostermotorways dot com. Those are pretty much the two easiest ways. All right. And definitely let them know that lockout men sent you. Uh, Brandon, man, what about a, what about a sign-on bonus? Uh, do you guys still have that? Yep. We actually bumped it up here last month. It is a $5,000 sign-on bonus now. Wow. Uh, paid out throughout your first year here. Okay. Uh, you get the first increment with your very first paycheck or your first load, and then it's paid out every, third, or every 90 days after that. 
All right. What about uh? What about for pre and what about for pre-employment? Uh, drug screening is it is it hair follicles or e- urine or both? Urine test. Okay, okay. Now, as far as getting them in for orientation, uh, when is orientation? And do you guys still hire within the fifty mile radius, or have y'all extended it? Uh, we'll pretty much hire from anywhere right now, uh, just depending on the runs and where you're wanting to go and what lanes we have. Uh, I have drivers as far away as uh, I think the farthest one now is Nevada and California. Mm-hmm. Now they are in our frac sand department. So, but I mean, we have all kinds of drivers from all over the U S all right. There's really no hiring mileage right now. All right. That's what's up. Well, guys, if you guys want a good uh, family own an operated company that really knows your name like literally when you walk in the door and every it's like cheers over there you walk in the door everybody there including the secretary knows your name (laughs) so if you guys are interested in something like that definitely give my man brandon a call um and see what and see what he can do for you brandon man thank you very much once again uh let everybody there know that you know my my time there was very 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 awesome uh unfortunately covid kind of shut everything down for us but uh we're we're back up and running again i can send you another application if you want one (laughs) well you know what i'm i'm at a i'm the company that i'm at right now is is very awesome uh, you guys prob you guys probably know each other. We we're out of the we're my company that I work for now is literally right off of Route Two, so we're right around the corner from we're right around the corner from the amusement park, man. So you you might know who I work for, even though I don't let people know who I work for currently. But yeah, I can got, understand that. You guys might know. You guys, you you guys might know who I work for because it seems as though everybody that's in Ohio knows everybody that's in Ohio. I tried to call the one company. I think, uh, I think Joe, uh, me, Joe, and Jason. Uh, I wanted to go through with them uh, before I actually release it, but I actually come to find out, the company that I called was the company that Jason came from. And they knew me right off the rip. Like, aren't you like out man? Like, yeah, that's me. Like, oh, okay. Oh no, no, thank you. You work for you work for Wooster? I was like, yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, well, okay. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but um, but uh Brandon, definitely thank you very much for coming on, man, sharing uh sharing everything that we need to get for our drivers that's out here. Now that you guys can um Pick up the phone, give him a call. So you, if you live in Texas, if you live up in Jersey, he'll be able to bring you on as long as your background good and you 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 should have no problems getting on. Is it is the orientation still a week? No, orientation's usually about a day and a half now. Oh, okay, that's that's what's up, man. That's that's what's up. It's a beautiful thing over there. All right, bit man. Well, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Um, thank you, Logger man. I I I will definitely get this out for you guys, and hopefully, uh, hopefully we should uh get get some people over there to rock out with you. Awesome, thank you very much. All right, brother man, you take it easy. You too.